This week's Photoshop tutorial, it's all about typography in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RetailPro.com. On this channel you get to learn everything about Photoshop design in weekly quick tutorials. So this week's episode is all about a simple typography logo. As I said earlier, we're basically going to take the name photo and build a camera into the name of photo. More about that now in Photoshop. Okay, so over in Photoshop on the right hand side, right away you guys get to see again, we have a white design layer here, then as well the normal design. My previous design was black, I just changed it to white. And as well, we have the background over here. So the background is actually coming from our brand new course, which just launched on our website, which is called Photoshop for Beginners. So if you don't know anything about Photoshop, you can actually go right away, have a look in the description down below or here on the screen, is a link that you can click and you will get right away to this course if you want to learn everything you need to know to get started with Photoshop from layout to tools to menu tools to panels everything that you need to know to be rocking in Photoshop so yeah the background is coming from our new product also have a look down below in the description is a link so this is right away my background now then on top of that I've made a bit of a typography logo here let's actually make this in white so I want to speak quickly about the logo it's basically again a lot of typography and mixed in with something that makes sense in your text. So again, as you guys can see over here, we have photo and right away in the photo name, we actually have a photograph in here, not a photograph, but a camera. So right away you see photo plus the O is supposed to be the lens and then the T and the little block here on top is again supposed to be a little bit of a camera. So right away in photo, you get to see, ah, this has to do with photography and photo and cameras. And then obviously at the bottom, still a slow, small slogan there saying master of creativity. So yeah, that's what's coming up. Let's get right away into it. Okay, so for the first step, what I'll do is just turn off my layer, take the text type layer over here and just make a big selection. So first of all, I just want to write P and H, again in capital letters, please. P, H, and right away the font has also been selected already. Wow. So P, H has been selected. Uh, let's actually head over to the fonts here. I'm going to go all the way back to the top so you guys can also see the font here. It's called Helvetica Neue. You guys can also find it down below in the description. So Helvetica Neue it is, but bold set. Then also set to bold here. And the pixel size around 160. Then white foreground color. Yep, choose a white foreground color and accept that. So that will be our first step here on our new text layer. Let's take the move tool, move this a little bit down. And now for the next step that I want to do is basically write the O and the T. But I'll, before I actually do that, I'll take down some guidelines. So just with the move tool, drag down some guidelines here. Also, if you guys don't have this stuff here at the top, which is called the ruler, just go to view and select rulers over here. So then you also have the ruler. Great. So then I'll put another guideline down here so we can easily fit in the O. I'm going to select the text tool again, select my text and press command J in order to duplicate this layer. Also, I'm working with a Mac. If you're a Windows person, please press control when I say command. Okay, so we're gonna take this new layer and we're just gonna move it out, say somewhere over here. Okay, select it again with the text and in capital letter, I'm just gonna write to O. But now, this needs to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go with like 140. Let's actually go with 139. Okay, and accept that. And take the move tool again. And I can now fit this nicely in here. So what I did now was basically my first font here was 160. So this can be around 140, 138, 139. So we have a little bit of a gap here and a little bit of a gap at the bottom. So it looks better with the overall design. Let's have a look. So you, it doesn't fit right away at the bottom and the top. And it gives you kind of an impression like a lens. Okay, let's go back. Next step that I'll do is again with the PH, make a duplicate with command J. Move this over, I'm going to select it and just write T here, in capital please. Accept that, move this also over here. And I think for the design, I actually had it like this. So something like that. Basically now I'm just using my cursors in order to move left and right. And I can see right away the O is too close to the H. So let's actually select the O again. And also with the move tool and the cursors, we're just moving it slightly over. We have a bit of space there again. Okay, then we're going to select the T 
And you're basically now just moving around these layers. Okay, great. Until you're happy and find the same uh, spaces here, left, right, and top and bottom. Obviously, I'm doing this a bit quicker. Take a bit more time when you guys do this. Then I'm going to take the O as well. Press Command J once again in order to duplicate. And this time I'm going to hold Shift. So it's not moving out of my line. Okay. And in CS6, you guys can see Photoshop gives one a really cool option here with, again, more guidelines. Great. So now the spacing is correct already. And I already have written my main slogan or main word, name, whatever you want to call this. And it's photo. Great. So these all making up already the photo. And let's, before we actually head into the marking tool, going to make another duplicate of the pH layer here. So press Command J once again. I'll move this all the way to the top. And now with the Move tool in my canvas, move this around. And first of all, I'm going to write now the slogan. So which is also in capital letter, going to be Master of Creativity. Okay, and you guys can't see anything. That is because the font is still too big. <laughs> so we need to go back up to the top. And we'll move all the way back to the top. And I'll select Helvetica Neue for this. So this is a bit of a lighter font. So select that. And also over here, select light. You also still get ultra light and super light. There's a few actually. Have a look again on Google. Just type in Helvetica Neue as a font. Or down below in the description is again written out if you can't see this properly. Anyways, let's also change this again. So first of all, what I'll do with this is change it to maybe like 10 pixels. Yep, that's way too small. So let's go like 15. Yeah, 15 looks better to me. And then the tracking here, I still want to push this quite a lot. Let's maybe go just with a thousand. Yeah, I'll actually add a thousand and hundred, thousand and eighty. Have a look. Okay, accept that. Also, guys, if you don't have the character box, simply go to window and select the character box over here. But if you're interested, have a look again at our Photoshop for Beginners course. I'll teach you everything you need to know about panels and how to get started with Photoshop so that your layout also looks always like mine. Okay, let's move this around. And also I'm going to move this somewhere over here. What I'm also going to do is take again the Move tool and just take some guidelines and drop them right away here at the beginning. Let's actually press Z on the keyboard, zoom in. And I'm going to take the Move tool, move that over here. Sorry, moving the guide a bit closer to the P. And I'm going to do the same for the O here at the back. Again, take a guideline and there. So I want the Y here to end with this guideline. And again, the M to start. So it almost fits. Okay, let's select this again. Complete. And I'm just going to go with like 1070. Yeah, that should do. Accept it. And with the Move tool, I'll literally just move this around a bit. Great. So right away, we have again our slogan as well. Okay, let's go to, oh, not view. Let's actually just zoom out a little bit so we get to see this a bit better. So we've done everything that we need to do for our text. Last step now still will be to work a little bit with the marking tool. So first of all, I'll go down here to the right-hand side, select the new layer icon, and just create a new layer. Then I'll select again the marking tool, and maybe I'll make my life a little bit easier if I zoom in. And first of all, take the move tool and create another guideline over here. Okay, so let's zoom in completely close. And we're going to first clip this guideline to the edge of the T and the top as well. Okay, and one more step, which we have down here. Let's just zoom out a little bit. The P and the H down here, we have that. So this guideline ends up again for our block over here. We'll just take again the Move tool. Another guideline somewhere over here. So it's ending again with the H. Okay, let's also move this a little bit over to here. And then two more guidelines again, just for over here and over here. Okay, so why did I do this now? Let me quickly explain. I'll just create a new empty layer. And with my brush, red foreground color, I'll quickly paint on here and show you guys why I did this. So basically, in this certain area over here, I want to now fill this up with white, with the marking tool and also this bottom part. And then over here, still add a little block. So right away, then at the end, it looks like a camera. So you guys get it. Over here, it should be the camera. Over here should be the trigger. And in the middle, again, the lens. Okay, so let's delete this layer. Go to the marking tool and rectangular marking tool, please. Zoom in a bit closer. 
And on the new layer, what I'll do is just again on my guidelines here, I'm just dragging a selection like so. Okay, so once I've got the selection, I'm going to hit right click and say here fill. And then we're going to just fill this up again with a white foreground color. Okay, contents, cool. Press Command D, get out of the selection, and right away we have the top block. Then select the marking tool once again and do the same here at the bottom. You can still stick on layer number nine, which is again our white layer here. Okay, right click, fill, and fill up with white content. Great. So again, you guys can see it's a bit bigger here. The font has a bit of a lighter edge. So what I'll do is just erase a little bit. So just select with the marking tool again this area and hit delete. And the same goes over here, delete. Okay, the same for the top most probably, or if that looks all fine. Over here is still a little bit of an edge. So that I'll also delete. Okay, and on the other side it's fine. Then let's also duplicate this layer now. I'm just going to press Command J. Or what I can actually do, maybe I'm too lazy again. Let's just take the rectangular marking tool. And I'll make here a small selection like so. And that will be our trigger button. So you can now obviously decide how big or how small you want to do this. I'm going to think this size should be good. Okay, on a new layer now, please create a new layer right away. I'm going to hit right click inside of that selection and say fill once again with white. Press command D, get out of the selection. Take the move tool and literally just with the cursors now, move that all the way up. Okay, and if you want to, you can move that a bit further now or if you want to a little bit lower. That's up to you again. And I'm going to move it a bit closer. Okay, last step will be going to view, clear the guides, and again, zooming out, and right away, we have the photo with the typography. But one more step that I'll do is just take the O and the O copy, and with the move tool, move both of these O's down a bit, because they look a little bit far up for me. Okay, zoom out, and that's basically it, how I created a very, very simple typography logo in Photoshop. So yeah guys, that's a simple typography logo in Photoshop. Also remember again, if you want to learn more about Photoshop for beginners, head over to our website at readthepro.com to find more about our brand new Photoshop for beginners course where you learn everything about Photoshop, especially if you're a newbie. And if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, then click on the screen right now to subscribe. We send out Photoshop design tutorials on a weekly basis and all for free. So yeah, we also do love to hear what you think about these episodes. So let us know down below in the comment box. And as well, hit us up with a like, subscribe, and again, share. So thanks guys again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. And if you want to download some of the Tronix Design Media Package, then just check down below in the description is a link where you can download everything that we produce every week here for free. Yep, that's true, for free. But anyways guys, you are still here because I think you are interested in some more tutorials, then just click here on the right hand side. So yeah, don't forget to check out the free Tronix Design Media Package, as well the Photoshop for beginners if you are a completely newbie, and I'll catch you all in the next tutorial.